In this video, we're going to show you how to disable Windows Defender permanently by using JP Edit. So let's get started. First, what we're going to want to do is go into our Windows security settings. And just to show you how things look by default, you can go into Threat Protection. And you can see that it's on. Now we can turn this off. Let's say yes to the prompt. So this will temporarily disable the virus and threat alert. Anytime you do a Windows update or reboot the PC or do any changes, this will turn back on. So it doesn't actually resolve the problem. Before we begin, we're going to go down to tamper protection. We're going to disable it by turning it off. And then we'll go to the start menu. And type in jpedit.msc. You want to make sure when you're logged in, you're logged in as administrator. If you're not logged in as administrator, you won't have access to a lot of the settings that we want to modify. So we're just going to open up the window here. In administrative templates, we're going to go down to Windows Components. And then we'll scroll all the way down to Windows Defender Antivirus. Inside here, we're going to select Turn Off Windows Defender Antivirus. We're going to enable this. Click Apply and OK. Next, allow anti-malware service to remain running always. We're going to disable it, hit Apply and OK. Next, we're going to go into Real-Time Protection and then click on Turn Off Real-Time Protection. We're going to enable this, click Apply and OK. Now we're going to click on Turn On Behavior Monitoring, click Disable, Apply and OK. Then, lastly, we're going to click on Monitor File and Program Activity on your computer. We're going to disable it and again hit Apply and OK. And that's the last step. So we've gone through all the steps of disabling the Windows Defender protection on your PC. Once these changes have been made, it'll be permanently disabled. We can validate this by going into Windows Security. We'll go back to Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Click on Manage Settings. In here, you'll see that it says this setting is managed by your administrator. So the users do not have access to change anything here. They have to go back into uh, JP Edit and make the changes back and enable the features that we had disabled. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like and subscribe.